Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Angry Cast and Fallout Shelter 2023. How y'all doing? We're closing in on the end, I believe. It's uh, episode 98, and we got some quests that we're going to do. And we're going to talk about some things on how we're going to finish everything up. You can see right now, we are at 918,996 caps. That is up from where we were, like, at zero. Um, and we've got the vault pretty much where we're going to have it. And we almost have enough. We have to get another 45 more dwellers, but I don't want to do it the way I wanted to do it right now. I was going to just start dancing <laughs> and have everybody, you know, breed. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because uh, I still have the um, this sucker going, and we could still get some from from, uh, from lunch boxes and from quests. So I'm going to hold off and maybe do the last 10 that way. We'll see. But uh, for now, let us get uh, get our groove on. Uh, we've got some quests. The Gathering of Ghouls. Confront a glowing one and its ghoul minions. Alrighty, we will do that and get that out there. Actually, let's... let Oh! Let's, uh... Let's go do the reading this time. A cast the glowing one has taken up residence a little too close to the vault. And it's drawing in ghouls like moths to a flame. Extinguish the brilliant beacon before ghoulish gathering grows any larger... Before this ghoulish gathering... Rose any larger. Okay. Okay. We'll send you out there with our best. And go have fun. Eliminate the glowing one. Your skin, it's glowing. How do you moisturize? Uh, yes. So here we are. Like I said, oh my god, it's a big one. It's episode 98. Basically, we got two more episodes. Um, it's bittersweet, in a sense, because we started out this entire thing with the this, the preset goal of stating that, once again, you do not have to buy anything in-game with your own money. Just play the game, and you'll get everything you need, and we've proven that again and again and again. And after almost 100 episodes, I mean, we've done everything. We've taken from humble beginnings all the way up to, you know, having the max amount of caps. And then we totally redesigned the entire vault. Turned it upside down. Reorganized everything. Reshuffled the deck. And now we're back almost again to 999,999 9 caps. We've almost got 200 dwellers. While we probably will not get all of our dwellers to level um, 50, probably won't get them all through training before we're done. The concepts are there. It's the proof of concept is proven. We've done it. It happened. And we got to experience the new content. And that's a great thing. That was sort of like a little happy accident that happened during, you know, the fact that we were doing all this. And along the way, we learned some things that we didn't know before. Like using the agility plus five, plus seven outfits for the best thing. And uh, the vengeance being rather than the um, um, dragon's mom, which we always used. And we learned how the time glitch worked and how to com combat it. Now, the funny thing was is that going back, way back to episode 37, that's when we talked about let's do the time glitch again. And the only reason I did this, and that was for educational purposes, was to show you how to fix it. What was the, what was the glitch? How did people do it? And how do you fix it? I didn't intend for it to be a go ahead and do the glitch. I'm covering up the wrong side of my mouth in front of the microphone. Go ahead and do the glitch. I didn't, that wasn't my intention. My intention was to show you that there was a glitch. People have used it. People have gotten burned by it. And how do you fix it? So we did that. But I did have one commenter um, a couple of days ago, <laughs> which is funny. I'm, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this verbatim just because this is his words or their words, not mine. I don't know who they are. Don't do this shit. It don't work no more. It also causes the game to read you as a higher level than you are. And I had 60 dwellers and got attacked by three death laws and lost my entire vault. I'm sure they meant death claws. An honest mistake there. It's possible, yeah. Again, your mileage may vary. This is not, you know, hey, do this at all costs. This is uh, suggestions. This, these are, like I said, for educational informational purposes. I am not advocating or condoning or doing anything uh, against, you know, a built-in glitch that happens. We've used it. We showed it. Now, to his point, said, don't do this, doesn't work anymore. It kind of does still work, because we did it. We showed it worked. And I'm, granted, I'm using this 
I was using it on um, Steam at the time, and now I'm using it on an Android emulator. And I can tell you that the, the glitch will still work because we did do it a couple of times to... I needed to do advance because there was like a 24-hour a, a wait period and I needed to record a video. So I, I advanced the clock by 24 hours in order to get a, through a quest. So it does work. But to their point where they said it reads you at a higher level than you are, I, I don't know 100% how that's true or why or, or what it does. I don't know right off the top of my head, and I can't look it up because I'm recording, I don't know at what level you start... Well, I mean, three death claws, you start getting three death claws when you have um, so many dwellers. Uh, so I don't know exactly what they're saying as far as it, you know, reads them as a higher level than that. Um, we all know, I think it was, what, over 50? Uh, no, once once the vault population reaches 60 or higher, 35 in survival mode. So, yeah, if they're saying in this particular comment that they had 60 dwellers and got attacked by three death claws, you know, <laughs> that's true. That's a true statement. At 60 death, at 60 level, 60 dwellers, you start getting attacked by death claws. At 60 dwellers, when you start using the um, radio room to attract dwellers you will attract death claws every time I every time I turn on the <laughs> the radio I get a death claw attack so that's why I don't do it when I'm trying to record I do it like at the end after I've sent everybody out for a quest or cleaned up everything and I'm you know turning off the camera or whatever turn off the recording then I go do that in case I get a death claw attack because we all know that we can take care of a death claws it's not a big deal anymore so yeah I, I you know I haven't responded to this comment I think I will and state and ask the question: Were your did you have sixty dwellers before? Because death claws start attacking at sixty dwellers. So I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I you know, again, I don't advocate. I don't condone. I'm just saying that you know, yeah, it happened. But um, we're out there to show you why. So yeah. All right, we finished off the quest. We killed the glowing one, and we're gonna go back to the vault. Yay! Hmm. Duplicate theme recipe fragments. Oh, listen, the Nuka Cola. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, it's, it's silly. War of the Nerds. Oh, we gotta do this, we gotta do this. Of course, bring peace to warring groups of science fiction fans. Uh, you know, we've just received news that our nearby vault has ascended into chaos and seems to pan a pre-war science fiction novel novelettes. Um, I can't, why can't I? Okay, fine. Have we come to the blows of which series the best? We need to send a team to help pass by the vault. We will do that. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we get the her in, in, in a uh, swing dress, which is a six. Why not? Might, might as well. And he's in a seven, and he's in a seven. I think we don't have anything better than that. Yeah, cold. I don't know the words. <laughs> oh no, here comes the death clock deck. But wait, there's four. Because. Oh, well, there's three. I don't know. I got, I got, 156 dollars. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. Well, okay. War of the Nerds pacify the Cosmic Clash fans. Speaking of War of the Nerds, I mean, we got a new series coming out for Ahsoka for Star Wars, and we got, of course, Strange New Worlds happening. Uh, I'm probably here beginning to get to despair. Nerds are started shooting each other. What? My God. Nerds! Okay. Yeah. You got the fans of Space Trip Trippies and the Cosmic Clash Adept. This is almost like that one quest in Fallout 3. Uh, the Antagonizer and whatever that one other one was. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. So we got Ahsoka coming out. And I gotta go back and watch some of the, the Star Wars stuff, the Clone Wars stuff, because I don't remember. I never watched it the first time around. 
So I don't know a lot about the Ahsoka th the dynamic with Anakin. I saw Rebels, and I saw Bo Book of Boba Fett, those things beside. But then again, on the other side of the coin, we have, you know, Star Trek, Strange New Worlds, and Discovery, the last season of Discovery coming out. Truly have enjoyed both series. Um, I started, went, I went back and watched the first two seasons. Obey the principal regulation. Okay. I went back and watched the first two seasons of... Uh, Discovery because I wanted to catch up on the whole entire backstory of Christopher, Christopher Pike because uh, Strange New Worlds, they are hurtling towards that, you know, his fate, which if you don't know, uh, in Star Trek, uh, he ends up, he, he saw his future, of, of course, but he ends up um, not doing well from an accident after um, a training accident. But, you know, I, I, I can't see them and spoiler alert here, I can't see them um, die, you know, the, I mean, spoiler alert for 50, or what, 60 years now? Because <laughs> that was back in the 60s. Um, I can't see them deciding to change history. But then again, we, this, you know, we, J.J. Abrams took us into an alternate universe for in the name of the Planetary League, I command you to stop. You are despicable called the Clash Nerds, or, okay. Um, do we have questions we can answer? I don't think we do. What did the chief... Oh, God. Really? We've got questions we can answer? Okay. Um, I believe it's... To tell you the babylonism isn't real. Are you wearing alien ears? <laughs> Shit. Um, hmm. Okay. Peaceful option. You're giving... Okay, well, let's get a peaceful option. There you go. Correct. Let's lay all down our arms and read that classic episode. Why not? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I looked it up in the wiki. <laughs> I was pretty sure, but I looked it up in the wiki anyways. So, <laughs> the first two seasons of Discovery, because they go to the future after that, sorry, spoiler alert again, but again, this is like five years old at this point, and Captain Pike, Anson Mount, is the captain in the second season because of what happened to the captain of the Discovery in the first season. And then he take and he goes on to be in Strange New Worlds. So I wanted to go back and watch them to get the whole entire thing about how he found out his fate and all that other stuff because it feeds into the Strange New Worlds and feeds into the second season because there's been some great crossovers in the second season, let me tell you. I've never watched um, some of the other series, but hilarious. Um, it was almost devol devolving into the Orville <laughs> at that point, but I guess it was pretty kind of it was kind of funny. Um, yeah, so if you have not watched and you are a fan of Star Trek, go watch Strange New Worlds. It's great. Um, yeah, let's see here. My the cosmic enemy god. Okay, they're gonna attack me anyways though. But beyond that, speaking of nerd stuff, um, yeah. What's next? Like I said, we're on episode ninety-eight. We got two more episodes after this. I got two weeks to figure out what I'm gonna do because I'd like to get a build-up. So I can start releasing episodes, and I'm I've been you know doing now the smart money on it for me is to say maybe I should do something different because we have played Fallout 3, we've been playing Fallout Shelter, we have been playing Skyrim. We had played well years ago played Skyrim. Maybe we should go away from Bethesda because Starfield's coming, and I really want to look at that at some point, and I don't want to like get too Bethesda out. I don't want to make this the Bethesda channel. So, I'm wondering if maybe I should go in a different direction for a little bit. And not do... And I like... I know, I hate to talk about games while I'm all playing other games. That's been a hard, fast roll, which we always break. Always break that rule. But I was having the discussion with Bailey last night. Um, or, sorry, well... By the time I'm recording this, it was last night. It'll be, when, it'll be two days prior to when this gets released. And we talked about it. I said, so, you know, help me out here. Because I was thinking, okay, I got Morrowind. I should play Morrowind, Morrowind. I tried. I, it was very, very dry and hard for me to get through the first, you know, two episodes. And I thought, this is good. I need something that's going to be able to replace a long-standing series and go, go a bit. And I just didn't see me doing this because it was just going to get annoying. But then I thought, okay, well, there's also the, the DLC, which I never did get back to for Fallout 3, but I kind of want to get away from Fallout 3. I've been playing it, you know? I'm just playing it. I've been playing Fallout Shelter, and I'm also playing Fallout 76. I kind of want to get away from that, but then New Vegas is out there, and I still have that, 
And she said, oh, that's like, you know, that's a great game and everything else and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I, I don't necessarily, I don't want to get, I don't want to get bogged down in something. Because here's the other thing. This isn't the only series that's ending. I got another series, two series in there that, that one's done and one's about to end in about a couple more episodes. I need, I'm going to have, I'm going to have nothing left to put on the channel except for, you know, Fallout 76. Greetings, I am Zonador Kari of the Concordat. Welcome to our very, very distant nebula. Oh, God. <laughs> Your superstition is no match for our rest of weapons. Uh-huh, we only see cosmic harmony. Okay, I'll just go with that one. Yeah. Yay, we got everything we needed. We don't really want half of it. It's fine. <laughs> you can see how I'm kind of like checking out. I'm dipping already on the season. On the series. So, I'm thinking... I'm gonna get. I got New Vegas. I've got. A, I've got one other that I really haven't been paying attention to. I've had it for a while now, and I was gonna start playing it, and I didn't. And it's gonna take me a lot of time. And I'm only 10% through the game probably. And I'd like to have a little bit of a build-up, so I don't have to like rush. And I don't know if that's gonna happen, so we'll have to see. We shall. We will have to see. Uh, and I think. I think this is gonna do it. I think this is going to do it. Okay, get, uh, come on. Alright, everybody... No, you had to be. Okay, everybody's... Everybody's healed. Everybody's healed. Alright, we did it. We pacified, pacified. We did it all. And we're coming back. Hooray! Oh, well. Oops. Okay, I know what my marching orders are going to be get this number back up to... Well, look, there we are. We're at 999,000 caps, so we're right there. Um, we've got some... We're going to do some quests next time, and i got to figure out a series to replace this one. Uh, but for now, we're going to call it here. And I got Mr. Handy... I got Mr. Handy as I can't even bring him in, because i got no money. I have to spend some money, man. I got, you know... You're back. Well, shit. So, we'll figure it out from there. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.